Talk to me, Tim Davies, my ambassador of Quad. Talk to me. That's right. I am dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Tom Cruise, the greatest movie star that is actually in existence, the most talented F-14 fighter pilot in aviation history, and the most beloved bartender of all time. Okay guys, so I thought I'd just set the jet up really as we fly out here and uh, show you what I'm going to do as I make an approach to a carrier. Case one, first thing you need to do is mirrors to remind you that you look good, okay? Boost your confidence. Right, so I've got to set the jet up, all this hash stuff up in here, I'm going to square that away now, I'll go EW, get rid of my HUD cues, they've gone. I like my HSI, personally like the HSI to be on this screen here. I'm going to have to put the TACAN in a minute. We are quite close to the boat, so I'm just going to make sure the TACAN's turned on. 72 X-ray in here for the, whichever one we're going for. Clear, clear. I'll put the COM on here, 1275, and then we'll sort the rest of the jet out. Okay, that's the COM on here. Oh, girlfriend's in the background. She's just going to wind around, so we'll leave her. Okay. And we'll talk over that. Marshall Mom. So we've got to sort this out. So we've got 20. Let's put that in. There we, there's the boat there, 40 miles. I want to know what heading she's on, which is called the Base Recovery Course, BRC. She's out there somewhere. And I'm over the sea now, so I'm going to put my rad out on, and my rad out is set for 450. No, it's not. Half around the turn, I want it to be 450, okay? Take care when you're descending over the sea, and it's going to turn girlfriend down a little bit. I've got to give him a call to about 30 miles, and I'm going to fly about 5,000 feet, and then I'll start the descent in a minute. And I'm going to probably hold about 0.7, uh, because else it's pretty boring for you guys, all right? And I don't want you guys to be bored. So fuel instruments, I'll uh, put some fuel on here. Radios, altimeters, demists, safety altitude. We'll do our HLR checks if we come inside 10 miles. All right, so let's go for, what do we want? We want uh, ATC, we want girlfriend, and we want inbound. Yes. Marshall, one, four, eight. Marking moms, zero, six, two, four, two, seven. Hey, Marshall. Angels, five. State, four, point, one. One, four, eight. Mother's weather is visibility, ten, plus mile. Scattered clouds at one, three, above seven 10, is what we want. Is so I want this two, course nine, here. Nine, Case one recovery. What C cell? One, three, seven. Report see me at ten. Report see me at ten. One, three, seven. Now I know the reciprocal of that is going to be 180 degrees obviously off that. So 137 plus 180 is a difficult thing to do. So add 200 to it, take off 20, okay? Top 10 tips. So 137 plus 200 is 337 minus 20 is 317. So my rollout heading downwind is going to be 317. So what exactly are we going to be doing? Well, what we're going to do then is we're going to come in. We would normally go to the stack of 2,000 feet and that stack comes around the boat like this, comes around the boat, 2,000 feet, five miles off the boat. We're not going to do it today. We're going to be 1.2 miles of beam the boat. There's a little picket boat out there as well, which we'll have a look at in a minute. And what we're going to do is we're going to use overfly that, look at the back of the carrier, and then we're going to tip in. When we tip in, this VV just wants to be just below the line here. Really, really, really small amount. Uh, about 20 degrees a turn. Some people say 30. I think 30 is a bit too much. And what we're going to do with this, what we're we doing with this radar here, guys, let's get a sensor on that. If we're going to use it, get it out to 40 miles. There is some activity. Let's go four bar on that, and 4040 is good for us, and that's Altitude. just keeping us uh, safe. Now I'm going to come around the back of the boat. Next event, 10 miles. Hail checks. I want to be down at 2,000 feet. They're sending down at 800 feet to come in for the boat. And at 10 miles, it would come back to 250 knots. We're not going to do it today. In fact, I'll be at 350 knots for the break anyway. What we're going to do instead? We'll talk about some airmanship stuff, shall we? Uh, let's have a look. What can we talk about? Let's talk about the break. It's going to be 800 feet. Then on the red out. Right out's at 4.50, and we're going to, let's move this up here, guys. I'm going to put my SA page up on the right, and I'm going to have my HUD on this page here. So let's go SA page here. That's got everything I need to know. And for safety-wise, HUD up here. Just check the weight of the jet before you land. I am not much in there at all, 4,000 pounds. So I'll just check that on the checklist. Uh, for 30, yeah, anything below 33,000, you'll cool in the gang. And it's only because I'm coming below 5,000. So I'm in the descent now. One thing they don't let themselves deals taken out of auto throttle hold is they don't descend more than their rate the height the rate of descent they do not allow to go above their height here that means they've always got one minute to death i quite like that one minute to death so there will never be more than four thousand on the rate of descent i'm coming down to two thousand the level always tell yourself what you do two thousand feet to level that's 10 miles see you at 10 one, four, eight. and i'll do my hail checks be careful doing checks in the descent She'll 
that for fuck? Where's that? One walking. Stay three point seven. Let's switch tower then. Okay, two thousand. See, my rate of descent now has increased, so I'm bringing it back there, leveling at two thousand initially. I like having the tack can up for this. This lines you up in azimuth. You can do it on there as well, but it's nice to have it up. So I want to put myself on the 90 degrees, and I've got to do my hails check as well. So as I'm leveling at 2,000, my hails checks. Okay, it's uh, hail R, hook, heat. It's inside scent. I don't do anything with that. Put the hook down. And then we're looking at uh, ACLS, anti-skid can go off. You don't need anti-skid for a carrier. We need uh, ICLS, I'm not using that today. Lights, landing, weight we've checked, and the rad out we've got on 2000. Our level for this turn, they don't want to fly into the sea. And then I'm going to come down at 800 when I'm lined up with the boat. There's the boat up there, coming for the turn now. Oh, track IR sucks, guys. Track IR sucks. I'm not just saying it. I would. I would. I'm not, I don't normally fly VR because I'm teaching people in Shadowlands, okay? So I am now down to 800. I am now on track IR, which is a bright day out there as well. It's not going to be functioning the best. In the descent, 800 then. 350 knots. One working. Overhead angels, 1.5. Stay 3.6. And 205, Fox 7146. One four eight, tower, roger, BRC, one three seven. Roger that, one three seven, three one seven. What's that, Dos Gringos? I want to take off from a carrier sometime before I die. Strap that Piper to a catapult, watch that sucker fly. I've got to check the deck is clear when we overfly this carrier, guys. 200 knots in under two seconds, that's my kind of fun. Do a barrel right out to take off just like in Top Gun, but I don't want to land. Allow me to explain, you'll understand. Because it ain't about the landing, why would I care? You never have a crosswind and you never have to flare. You got four freaking wires, how could you miss? I can't do anything easier than this. All right, deck is clear, guys. 1.2 miles upstream then. I should be about 800 feet. And I'm looking at 800. I'm going to pull 1% of my speed in G. So initially, you're going to pull about 3. Point, well, now 3.7 G. There's one mile, that's going out. Clearing dead wind, down, downwind, sorry, roll, pull. I'm not using air brake today. I am going to put the VV there, and I'm going to descend down to 600 feet. That should have been uh, a bit too much G there, but I do want to be inside that boat. So let's have a look. I just want to be inside the boat now, visually flying it. Blow 250 that I am going to configure. Blow 250, gear travels, flaps travel. I'm not going to trim out the flap here. I'm just going to hold it, I'm going to hold the flap pressure. DCS has an issue with this. It balloons the jet too much. Oh, it's always a bonus having a carry out there, isn't it? When you roll out. Now I'm going to let the jet, I'm going to trim back into the E-bar now. Trim back into the E-bar. 317 it should be. I've given it a bit there, a bit of power. And the jet now is going to be flown with my left hand. The attitude is flown with my left hand now. And I'm going to wait for the back of the boat there. And now I'm tipping in 570 feet. So, uh, so Put power on as you roll in as well, guys. Lock the HUD. That's it, about 20 degrees. Read back correct. Next event is the ball call. I'm not even looking at the boat until I'm halfway around. It should be 4.50, halfway around. A bit high. I'm now looking at the boat. Yep, it's good. I stop myself rolling in. So I'm high on rollout. I think it was a bit late on my tip in. We'll get through the back of the boat. Ball is low. One working. Ball. Dragging that ball up. Come on, LSO, speak to me, buddy. Watch the ball. Talk a dude in. Yes, this is hard because you didn't put your runway straight on the boat, did you? Right, the ball's looking good. Yeah, LSO, you're not telling me anything, mate, because I'm awesome. Come on. 0.6 or mile. Yep. Blow 300. Keep it coming. Put the thing on the thing. Vivi on the end of the boat. I am a bit tar saturated now because track IR sucks. It's much easier in VR, guys. That's it. Come on. I want a three wire. Keep it coming in. Keep it coming. Thing on the thing. Thing on the thing. Power. 
Oh, he's a legend. Free wire. Right, now get that up. Get the wings moving, because that's going to engage your nose steering. Activate nose steering. Get off there. Get off that. Okay, get away. Wings should be moving. Come on, wings. Get out there. And deck screen. Deck screen. Spark over there, shall we? Come on, that's it. Wings are moving. One. Mark. Roger that. I've got new NFG pedals, guys, with foot brakes. Check it out. The foot brakes actually work. Wings. Yep. I'll be marshalling. I'll be being marshalled now. This is super carrier, of course, so we do have the deck crews. This makes a lot of difference, actually. I'll park it up here. Park your brake on, and then we do some shutdown stuff, okay? I noticed something on my boat. These are congratulating you on opening up your new school. Fast jet performance. Time of your life, huh, kid? Now, my eyes are wide shut to the fact that you're a Brit and attended the RAF. That's no Top Gun flight training, okay? But it's an accomplishment, nevertheless, in some circles. I mean, there is no substitute to US pilots and jets, if we're gonna be honest, okay? If we're gonna have our friends' hats on. I don't mince words, no, no, no. You want the truth? Okay, you're entitled to it. But don't be glued. You don't know the first thing about piloting an aircraft. I do. I study it. If you don't want to come to Super Carrier, no, wrong. But if you want to come to Shadowlands, then guys, give me a call. It's patreon.com. Tim Davies, teach you to fly in eyes, hornets like this one, and F5s. We're also using F16 now, and we're using um, F16 and uh, Harrier. Is that a cow? What's a cow doing on my carrier? Ben, you put a cow on my carrier again. 